It's that time, that time of year to follow that midnight sun. What's going on, guys? Shane D here. Uh, a few things, really quick. Um, a, I want to apologize to Vinnie Vincent. I, 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 I am sorry. I missed your birthday. Uh, uh, 67 years old. Happy birthday, Vinnie Vincent. Uh, and, and the other thing would be, uh, you heard the vocal there. If you ever decide to get the band back together again, give me a call. Give me at least a tryout. So yes, indeed, if you haven't heard, this is the legend of the Vinnie Vincent birthday bash. Apparently it went down. <laughs> what I did the other night was I, I spent I would say probably an hour and a half watching videos from people that went to the event. Not people talking shit, going, oh, yeah, Vinny this, Vinny that, Vinny who, Vinny what. Um, but they actually went to the event, and I watched these full videos. Some of these videos were 25 minutes long. Other videos were 45 minutes long. But I watched every minute to get every detail of everything that happened. I put on my investigatory hat and said, we need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, Vinny, uh, Vinny Vincent, a.k.a. Vinny Cusano, a.k.a. Vinny the Fingers. Hey, give me them fingers over there. Huh? The old Vinny the Fingers. Hey. Uh, he's 67 years old. He's having his birthday. It's top secret kind of a situation. Uh, some of these videos did say it was easy to find the information for it if you were looking for it. Uh, but um, essentially... These 30 plus people went to the uh, birthday bash. Now, as I put on my investigatory hat and started looking into things, apparently the Rock and Pod Expo was there in Nashville as well at the same time. And people were thinking it's going to be in that hotel at the Rock and Pod. Uh, uh, my investigations, uh, my predictions would be no, because Vinny's not the kind of guy that wants to have a bunch of uh, shenanigans going around when he just wants to invite the closest Vinnie Vincent fans uh, to the actual event. And second would be that SIR Studios, where he was going to do his speedball jam that he canceled, is there apparently in Nashville or around that area. So I was assuming, you know, one of the best bets would be that it might just be at that SIR Studios. It could very well be there. But all of these stories so far have sounded eerily similar, so they can't be lying. And um, I think this is the way the event went down. It actually went down. Now, the videos that I watch, they basically explain it this way. They say that they wondered where it was going to be at. They didn't know. They were checked into their hotels or whatever. They, they were going to receive an email notification or a text notification saying, here is the address. Here's, here, uh, here's how it's all going down. By the way, there's an image out there. These people have disputed that said, you know, the image of, of, uh, Vinnie Vincent sitting lonely at a table. Uh, that was faked. From what these people say, that was a fake photo. Here is what happened. They were getting, they were, they were to get a text message or an email confirmation saying, go to this location, top secret, top secret location. They go to the location, they get this text or this email, and it says, head towards SIR Studios. What? Oh my God. Wait a minute. That's the Speedball Jam place. That's the place that Vinny was supposed to play before, but the show was canceled. Why would there be any reason in the world that we would think that the event would actually take place at the SIR studios? But he had to throw everyone off the off the beaten path. It's not going to be at the Rock and Pod Expo. No, it's not. So they get the they get the call. They get in a fun bus. One guy got in a fun bus with other people, uh, um, uh, or the hotel bus. Another guy just took his car. They drove straight there, fast as they could. They got over to the SIR studios. They were greeted outside by somebody. Uh, they, they, I think it was the promoter of the concert. And he said, welcome, welcome one and all to, to, to the Vinnie Vincent Bash. And everyone was standing around, uh, excited. Everyone was excited to get in there. The 30 people are excited to get in there. And they can hear this beautiful sound. It sounds like angels on a guitar. It's someone shredding. It's someone shredding the guitar so good that they said, no, 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 that's a CD. That is not a human being. 
shredding that guitar. That is a CD recording because it is so beautiful, so perfect, and, and every fret and note was so perfect that it cannot be human fingers. It cannot be human fingers. And they walk down the hallway and they see the door and there's a bit of glowing light coming out of it. And they're like, I'm telling you, that is a, that is a CD. It's not a human being. The doors fling open. And upon the stage is Vinny Cusano, a.k.a. Vinny Vincent, a.k.a. Vinny the Fingers. And he's given them what they've wanted for oh so long. What we've all wanted for oh so long is some fucking shredding. Some shredding, bro. <laughs> And he's going for it. And they said he played uh, his, from smile from ear to ear. He stood up amongst the um, on, on top, atop that stage uh, for 15 minutes, shredding the shit out of that guitar. Smoke flying off the strings. Everyone is bewildered and amazed <clears throat> and, and, and amazed by, by all this. Beautiful. Every note was it was pitch perfect. Everything he played was a, a delicious, delightful treat. Now, this event did take six hours. This was a six-hour event, which, you know, for the, uh, I don't know how much, they, how much they charged. Was it the $300? I think it was the $300 charge that he was trying to get for the speedball jam. But everyone seems to say it was hella worth it. It was six hours of being in the room with Vinnie Vincent. He signed 10 different items for you. You got like a little grab bag of posters, you know, his little birthday poster and, and everything else. And everyone seems to be going, yes, this was a good deal. He talked to each and every person and he played the 15 minutes when they walked through the doors. And then he came down and shook hands and said hello to everyone. And then the one guy says, I looked over at this table and I said, this is absolutely some of the most beautiful catered food that I had ever seen in my entire life. Uh, he had kale salads. He had salad salads. He had iceberg salads. There was, uh, you know, uh, there was ma macaroni salads, potato salads, all of these different salads, even a fruit salad there. He had a fucking fruit salad. <laughs> And the, the one guy says, he turned to Vinny and he said, Vinny, uh, pardon me if you don't mind me asking. Um, this is such a beautiful layout of food. Who, 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 uh, who catered this event? And Vinny Vincent says, I did it all myself. Holy shit! Holy <laughs> shit! He did it all himself. He made each and every delicious dish himself because he said, you know what? N not just any food's going to be good for you guys. The best food, the best food is going to be good for you guys. Um, then he jammed. They did a, a signing. He signed everyone's stuff. He talked to everyone. There was no pictures or no nothing while there was any music playing or him playing on guitar. But there was a, a portion where they did take pictures and stuff. To me, everybody seemed like they had a grand old time. Um, uh, everyone said that it wasn't that difficult to try and figure out how to get to the event. But it must have been that $300 paid pay, like... Hey, you could, maybe you email them or something. Say, I want to go. I'll, here's the $300. But there was 30 plus people there. Everyone had a gay old time. It was wonderful. Uh, Vinny sh shredded for a, probably an hour. And the, the event was about six hours long. Uh, so everyone that was going, Jesus, what a nightmare or whatever. Well, it wasn't a nightmare for these people. They had a grand time. And I was just amazed at how eerie each story was. And these people don't really know each other, I don't think, until that, that is what brought them together, is the Vinnie Vincent birthday bash is what brought those 30 plus people together. And that bond will never be broken. That bond will never be broken. Vinnie Vincent has brought those people together forever. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I have to apologize to Vinnie. Vinnie, love you. Um, and, if he if he goes back into the shadows, this will become a legend, something that will live on for eons, be written on on onion paper and everything. When the you know, when when the apocalypse happens and everything, people will say there was one man who catered his own events and shredded for a full hour. 
And that was Vinnie Vincent at his 67th uh, Vinnie Vincent birthday party. Uh, you know, so so I, I'm 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 back in the Vinnie Vincent uh, saddle again. Uh, he came through with that event. We thought that he was going to pull some shenanigans, but he didn't. He came through. Everyone that went to that event said he was a wonderful person. So there you go. I'm, you know, Vinny, good job. Happy birthday. And to those people, hell yeah. Uh, if you're watching this, get down there in the comments below. Feed me every juicy detail because I'm interested in knowing this. I've read the stories that go, oh, God, what a nightmare. Six hours of Vinnie Vincent. Everyone that I saw, every video that I watched uh, said the opposite. They said they loved it. Uh, that's all I've got, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Be my friend. Um, you know, I don't want to say goodbye. Because I love, love you. It's that time. That time of year to follow that midnight sun.